Hello friends, uh, today we're going to be doing the assignment with a return value. If, you, if you'll recall from our discussion of storing values with an assignment operator, let's see, storing values with an assignment operator. Everything to the right of the equal sign is resolved before the value is assigned. This means that we can take the return value of a function and assign it to a variable. Got it. Uh, assume that we have predefined a function sum which adds two numbers together and then uh, our sum is equal to the sum of 5 and 12. We'll call sum function which returns a value of 17 and assigns it to our sum variable. So our sum is just equal to the integer of 17. Uh, we want to call the process arg function with an argument of seven and assign its return value to the variable processed. <laughs> okay. Processed should have a valuable value of two and this should assign process arg to processed. So their example is the variable of changed is equal to zero. So we say function of change and then the number is equal to the return number plus five divided by three changed is equal to changed 10. So here we've set a variable, then we've set a function, and then here we're setting a new variable which is equal to a function plus a integer. The function is changed. So here already we can say what changed has become. So even though the variable is set here, now it's no longer zero, it's whatever change 10 has become. Change 10, change, and then this number becomes 10, Number is 10 plus 5, 15. Because these are in parentheses, they happen first. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. So now changed is 5. Um, and then our next part is we're setting the variable processed is equal to 0. And then function processed arg. Uh, and then number. So we're just setting a variable or a, a, a function. So what this processed argument is going to do is going to return the number, which will be part of the argument, plus 3 divided by 5. So it's the same exact function as here, which is, um, in programming, you don't want to repeat yourself. So there's no reason for us to do this. So apparently, we're just trying to uh, define some reason for this. So we only want to change code below this line. We want to call processed arg. So to do that, we just do processed arg with an argument of seven, pass in seven, and assign its return value to the variable processed. Uh, so var processed is equal to this guy. If we run the test, such as pass. Assignment with a returned value. So basically what it's trying to do is get us under the understanding that you can set variables to be equal to the return value of a function. And I think that that's the uh, essence of this one. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.